Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Allie J with Ascended Stars for my lovely Scorpios. <laughs> hello, how y'all doing? Oh my God. Yeah, holding it down. Scorps, Scorps. So let's see. I already pulled your um, oracle cards and guidance for your love uh, romance reading. And now I'm just going to do a quick spread. Whoa. Um, that's the outside influence to find out what's going on with Scorpio. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. That's amazing. You guys got two in your now energy. Oh, I love it. Some poppers. Okay. So, Spirit, thank you so much for these messages that I'm going to be sharing with my Scorpio tribe on Ascended Stars channel. Uh We've been going through a really hard time, Scorpio energy, and the clouds are clearing. <laughs> the clouds are clearing. Yeah, what about that love life, Scorpio? What about it? What about that love life? Okay. I'm going to take it. It came in upside down. I'm, I do do reversals, especially if they be popping out like that. Okay. Current energy. seven of wands oh yes you're gonna be like still meeting these challenges you know um there might be some defensive energy between you and your partner you might have left off with the fight you might have had disagreements um you might agree to disagree but someone is defending their stance okay and um let's before we see the second card there is clarity here for you. So maybe you cut this person off, Scorpio, because you don't take no BS, you know? You're like, yo, I'm gonna you you can't you can't be treating me like that, or you can't say those things, or you can't feel that way. This person, okay, wands is uh, the heart energy, fire, but it's belief systems as well. So this person, the way they live their life might be uh not conducive to the way you would you're the kind of person that you are and um so there's conflict perhaps in lifestyles uh five of wands more conflict here so there's a lot of clarity here on the situation for either you or that person and there's still um an energy this is what this person's this person's getting clarity but they're getting um and this could be you, but I feel this is this person. They're getting finally clarity. I feel it's coming a little bit too late for that for you to hook, you know, to get back together if you're separate. Or if you're together, they're getting getting clarity and in, in, um in shifting their beliefs, you know, shifting their, their their type of belief systems and maybe their lifestyle. Eight of Wands. Uh, typically would be a message coming in but because they're still probably dealing with this energy of conflict and change and shifting from one to the next i feel like it's a car shifting you know like shifting gears um and and so right now the universe is asking um this person to step into the new world to go into this new change um as, and you are too you you're we're, you're both going into it in diff you know with different um scenarios what's the outside influence six of wands there will be victory they will be recognition so whoever did the other person wrong they're going to come and recognize you know what you're the one um i don't know if there's apologies here but they will or they do recognize the outside influence is that they do see that they were incorrect in their behavior and what they were doing as well um but because of of um this shift that's going you know like sh changing gears changing shifts and going into this new world type of energy um because they do have a lot of clarity you know they're mental they're they're able to see things and with the knife they can perhaps cut ties um not easier said than done because it's not easy like if you're conditioned and stuff like that to cut ties so this is why probably they want to give us a message but they're just not in the mindset or 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 in the their mind is clear right with the ace of wands and yes you're the one <laughs> yeah that's what it is yes you're the one 
but you know some stuff went down you know some stuff went down and you know that it just can't be you know like water under the table there's time here and this is the energy for a lot like a lot of people are coming to clarity a lot of people are trying to heal themselves a lot of people are trying to get to the next level and all of that is stopping them from really integrating their love and being with the person that they want to be with but i'm going to get some clarities on no, i'm going to get some clarities i'm going to get some clarity on the eight of wands why is the eight of wands here and why is it reversed financial security um they have another person too or you have another person so they have this could be why that the conflict was going on um or they may have more than one you might be dealing with a fire sign a leo a sag or an aries and um they're not coming forth because there's too much worry anxiety for them that you see this is this is very anxiety filled energy they have chaos in their life and they're running rapid and they're fighting with people and getting in arguments and they're, they're perhaps thinking of wanting to contact you but not going to happen because they're not focused on their life their energy their 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 path their fight there's financial issues um there is somebody else that there's maybe karmic that they're still trying to get away from and it's just too much so they cannot contact you right now this is for all everyone who's separate so this is like a specific message for my scorpios here that's all I can really do for you right now because I don't really see um, a good energy here and I feel bad but um, I do have uh, readings right now that I can give you I can give you an hour reading a recorded video or Skype zoom um, we can do a half hour live session or on the phone however you want I do have sessions that are available for this scenario to dive deep and to dig and to see what your personal situation looks like and I would love to do that for you just go to the description box or and or send me um, an email at ascendedstars at gmail.com but thus far this is as far as I can get with with you guys general general public in general and let's go into like maybe some advice how to move forward in January um, what maybe some more clarity celebration you know I feel like this person is coming towards you they have a lot of things to contend with but it's it's their belief systems it's their unconscious behavior it's their um, collective conscious uh, belief systems they're stuck Put that there I don't need to hide this but I want to find a spot surrendering surrender defensiveness this person ha 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 scorpio this is you but they have they might have this, i feel like they have a lot of this energy too because we're sometimes we match up with mirrors defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response look at that this is so scorpionic with the woman samurai and it's like oh no don't f with me i'll cut you down i'll tear you apart i will crush you and it scorpios have that vibe they can crush people with their words or with a a look and this is a woman samurai so you have a lot of power scorpio it's telling me you're very powerful you're the you're the more mature powerful one in this situation so you probably are hurt and you're very offended so you defend yourself when it when this person triggers you you see there's a lot of trigger energy here too this person does trigger you they do push your buttons um and and that's that's an energy that we have with the seven you know you feel like you have to defend your stance and how you feel and how you are and your belief systems and this person might feel well you know um i they're encountering a lot of conflict in their life and they might feel like wow i really should be shifting now because there's a there's a lot going on conf conflict wise so but the, what the purpose of, of of this card i think is to let you know that they they do trigger you okay and so you have to be the higher up person you have to be the person that is going to be coming from um a more understanding place and more you have to go into that scorpionic plutonian you know transformative 
energy and be like, okay, I'm going to be the bigger person here. I never saw the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that was that makes sense with the Eight of Wands being the last card. This person is still stuck. They're they're um I think they're very unconscious of what they do, what they've done, and um they're building clarity on that, okay, this month. And it's gonna that clarity is gonna be in the face of others when when they conflict them, themselves with others. I don't know if you're in contact with them or not. This could be you always con, con you know, always battering with them arguing with them or whatever but the energy of the month for scorpio and their love life is that it's it's on it's hanging on a rope <laughs> right um this person could be into escapism they could be into a lot of drugs and uh whatever you know that entails the whole genre um they're not dealing with reality they're not in a realistic place they are so you this these are all things that come up that trigger you that you're like you know you're, you're defensive purpose okay so you got to focus on your purpose you possess the term determination and dedication to con consciously demonstrate love so this is again saying you your purpose in this person in this person's life is to be that um that seer that guide and that uh hermit that wisdom that, that you have because you have you as a scorpio you've probably transmuted and died and rebirthed many many times and so um this person's going through it in front of your eyes and you're not going to be condemning or judgmental to them you're going to have to be a little more higher up um compassionate that's the word this is building your compassionate muscle scorpio Pay attention. Notice rep repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this yield valuable information. Yeah, this is this is not a harmonic heart heart uh, situation or relationship. Okay, so this was a lesson for you. Maybe you got off scot free, and and now you can just move on. But it hurts, and and this person needs closure, or um, you never got closure. But you might be falling into the pit of toxic energy by going after somebody who is conscious, con constantly not able to give you what you need and want um, in a relationship. And it says, you know, pay attention because maybe they're not emotionally available. They're not emotionally available. They're in limbo. In the outer, in the outer skirts, outer space, um, they are not living in reality. Just not living in reality. What can I tell you? Okay, so the soul card is guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. They're purging out that guilt. I think they did you wrong, Scorpio. I don't think it's it's you on them this time. Because <laughs> Scorpios get such a bad rap. But you guys have a lot of loyalty and, you know, you're really deep and um, you love deeply. Like, I, I've i um, dealt with Scorpio men, but a lot of them are always, like, committed. Like, always, they're, you, you, you can only go so far. Like, they, they, they're sexy, they're attractive, and they're, they're, like, you know, there, but they're not. Like, let's say for platonic relationships, they're not going to go out normally and cheat. Like, um, if, 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 if they're getting what they want and they love you, no. But I don't know. You know, this is a general. So either there's guilt on your side or there's guilt on their side. And they're dealing with this guilt. But I really feel it's them, not you. Okay, so we're going to do the three cards of the energy deck and it says door to value this this uh connection brought you to a place where you needed to value yourself that was maybe the lesson the the, the real lesson like value you you know um now start building a foundation walk through that door money's around the corner it wants to come here for you stop wasting time and energy on something that's not going to be uh reciprocated it's emotional it's emotional and like i said they trigger you so you every time they're there like in your space or in your thoughts even they're triggering you even in the ethers in the astral plane so you need to clear that energy you need to do sea salt baths you need to nurture yourself you need to be around high uh, positive energetic people 
and vibes. And again, more emotion. This person could be dealing with their mother. Okay. This person could be dealing with um, karmic ancestral ties. Either you or this person, but I think it's this person, uh, have have them stuck with a re within uh, have them stuck for themselves in a um, stunted growth, evolutional, spiritual, emotional growth. They're stuck. They can't. They. It's in turmoil right now. They are just. It's a storm within them. They are so waking out uh i feel like it's the egg like they're cracking that egg like whatever their parents put on them whatever it mainly the mother there's a main main thing we're talking about the femme fatale they might have a mother who is not a divine feminine in in her power but she is a divine feminine as a femme fatale she's not um nurturing she's not caring she's not so this brings a lot of emotion to this person and they're dealing with their mother issues and that's what i can tell you i don't know it's just coming up i'm just i'm just but they're getting clarity on this and it's a yes with you it's a yes with you but they guess what they're feeling guilty and some stuff went down that you know or don't know about but this is not a good card to get. Um, I think right now with Pisces season, it's not a good card to get with, the, with, the, with December that just passed and the holidays. And because I feel like this is telling, this is the whole bottom of the reading. This is saying this person might have addictions. This person, not only, you know, are they trying to escape, to escape their emotions because they don't want to face this thing with their mother um, energy, they're they're escaping it through drugs <laughs> through sex through um food through all of the above so this month is 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 just focus on you make money for yourself um get going on what you need to do pay attention to your patterns and you're gonna to have to have compassion if you know if they're if they're in and out of your life just or any contact with them have compassion um, because with this with in this in this time it's time for you to gain your peace and connect to spirit and um, work work on that 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 trigger you know the the, the compassion so i hope this has helped thank you so much for watching my channel i look forward to connecting and if you want your own personal reading so we can get into it uh, regarding your situation i would love to read your cards at ascendedstars at gmail.com wishing you the best for the rest of january and i do hope to connect sooner than february but you never know bye bye take care